This video is about how I learned to crochet for the first time and made a sculptor inspired cardigan with just a dash of blood, sweat, and tears. So I guess I'm gonna have to redo these two. I messed up again. Don't mind this string. This morning, I woke up and I thought to myself, I want to learn how to crochet. Yesterday, for the first time, I watched Joy from Red Velvet's Hello music video. And yes, I am super late. Trust me, I am super late to everything. But this one, I think I'm five months late. The music video came out in June. I saw the video, I loved her cardigan, and I thought to myself, I have to have that. I did some research. And I found that it is from a brand called Sculptor. When I went to the website, everything was in Korean. And it was sold out. So, here we are. I am going to learn how to crochet today. And I am going to be making her cardigan. Now, granted, I have never crocheted in my entire life. I've got to teach myself how to crochet. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm hoping I can do it in a couple days. So that's what this is going to be about, me crocheting. I hope you all enjoy the video and please watch to the end, but I will put timestamps in the description below. I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but this is what mine looks like. I'm actually not sure if this is right. I think I'm gonna have to watch this again and then I will come back. Yay, I got it! just finished my first one. I don't know if I want this hole in the center of the square to be that big. You can really see through it. See those scissors right there. I'm gonna try again, and hopefully I can make it a little bit smaller. So here's the one that I just did. I like this one a lot better because the center of it is almost non-existent compared to the one that I did earlier. I think I'm gonna use this one. I completed my first square. I think I did pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try doing a second one and see how that goes. Fun story. Um, I accidentally did only two rows of color instead of three colors and then the border. So I made these two and then I relooked at the picture and then I realized there was supposed to be another brown here and the maroon was supposed to go here. This took me 40 minutes to make this one. All right, third time is the charm. I now have three different sizes. So these are the two that I accidentally messed up on. This is the one I finally got right. This is the second one I did. And then now this is the third. They are all different sizes. I have no idea why. I guess I'm gonna have to redo these two. I'm gonna do the center of the granny squares, and then I'm gonna do the second row, and then I'm gonna do the third row. I think it might go a little bit faster. Square. All right, I'm doing this a little backwards, but I made the squares and about four of them fit onto the cardigan I'm basing 
the, the back panel off. And then I'm gonna use a different one for the sleeve. So here is the sweater that I'm basing the sleeves off of. For my pattern, I kind of just wanted to keep it simple since I'm not that experienced with putting anything together. I hope it works. I'm kind of nervous about the sleeves because I do want it to taper. see that because my cat is in the way watch out then so I'm trying to stagger these all I had to undo everything and then rearrange it finally got it to match with the sleeve that I did I'm realizing that I need to add this row down here I think it's signed to go to bed and then try again tomorrow Oh my god, uh, this is killing me. As you guessed, I messed up again. That I didn't have a marker for what was the correct up or down for the back panel. I would undo it and then realize that the panel was just upside down or the wrong way. And then I would have to stitch together everything that I just put together. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about how to do this again. was this piece right here. It was kind of falling off of my shoulder if I didn't have it. It's this nice little, like, hooky piece thing. I just have to flip it right side out. Okay, here is the final sweater. I added some scalloping on the shoulder area and then I added some scalloping don't mind this string. Added some scalloping over here, and then I also added this piece across because I did notice that in the photo it had it. I think it turned out okay. Um, as you can see, the back, it does this weird lift up thing. Overall, I think it turned out okay. I think what I would do differently is not crochet the squares as tight as I did, because if you can tell, it's a little stiff and it doesn't fall as loosely as her as Joy's does. I think because it is stitched together super tightly, it makes it really heavy and also very hot. I live in Hawaii, and so it is really hot in my house right now, and I am sweating just wearing this. So I definitely can't really wear it too often here, unfortunately, but maybe in the near future. 